let's face it, if you want to know the truth, who do you go to? A 10-year-old. Who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name is Bob McEwen. I'm the host of The Fifth Estate, CBC's investigative program. And I talk to people. And I talk to people to ask questions that I hope will get me to an interesting story. And usually a story that we're already aiming at. We've done lots of research by the time we start asking questions of people. And uh, we generally know where we're going in the first place. But the great part about it is you're always surprised. It is a nightmare scenario. A runaway tractor trailer. A stalled school bus full of unsuspecting kids. A brutal collision. And I hear you recently did an investigation. Can you tell us about what that investigation was? Yeah, uh, it, it was the lead story on our first show of the season. And it's about school bus safety, especially seat belts on school buses. Do you realize that you and your cohort are the only motor vehicle passengers in Canada who don't have to wear seatbelts. And what was the most fascinating thing about this investigation? Uh, it's always fascinating, Ari, when they start. And this one started with a terrible event last April. It was the crash of the bus carrying the Humboldt Broncos hockey team. So we started to look at that. And one of the results of that was that the Canadian government announced they would make seat belts on coach buses, like that one, mandatory. They would make them part of the law and you'd have to wear them. The, at the same time though, they had a, another paragraph in the news release. And often in our business, it's not the lead story that is the really important one, it's, it's what, you, what you find behind that. And they said they were gonna put uh, in a law that would make seat belts mandatory on coach buses but seatbelts would still not be mandatory on school buses. Did anything surprise you about this article? What surprised me really is that once we started looking at the Canadian government's research into this, we realized two things. They had developed a position that basically said, don't worry about seatbelts on school buses. They probably won't help you in an accident and they might hurt you in an accident. They might make injuries worse or even contribute to a death. And it just, that sounded totally opposite of common sense. How could seat belts that they tell us are saving lives and preventing injuries in every other vehicle, how could they actually hurt you in a school bus? So that was the, the one thing. That had been the Canadian position for a long time. And then as we dug deeper, we found that they were aware of research and other studies that some of which they had done that showed just the opposite that in fact seat belts do prevent injuries and save lives even on school buses so the surprising part there was they had kept this information from the canadian public these are the people whose job it is to keep us safe in motor vehicles and in fact they were keeping this key information away from us and um, what were kids' take on this? What Did they have any ideas about this? They did, and we, we saw kids in two different places. We went to a state in the U.S. where they have seat belts and school buses, Texas. And all the arguments were, they're too expensive, they're too much trouble, the drivers don't like them, the kids don't like them. We found, in fact, all of those are just untrue. They cost pennies a day, literally, to have seat belts in school buses. Pennies per kid. Uh, in, in terms of the drivers and the kids, we saw kids from 5 to 17. They all just jumped in the bus, did up their belt. And then we came to Toronto and we rode on the bus of uh, the Holy Turn of the Elementary in Toronto. And of the 12 kids on our bus, 11 of them said they wanted seatbelts. They didn't know why they didn't have seatbelts. It's safer if you put on seatbelts for the younger kids and for us too. Put seat belts on school buses. I always want, wanted um, to know why there's no um, seat belts on school buses. For a way to encourage kids to try seat belts in a school bus, do you think the how how do you think they should um, present that? Well, what they do down in Texas is they the way they have fire drills in you know your school here, they have uh, various drills in and around school buses with seat belts. So, getting into your seat belt 
getting out of your seatbelt in an emergency situation, because if there's a, a, a crash, that would be something you want to do as quickly as possible. So, and, but I, I think the fact is that kids know about seatbelts so well at this stage. You know, some of us adults d didn't have seatbelts until we were older. You guys have had seatbelts since you were born. So it doesn't really take that much education. It's been an honor meeting you, Bob. Ari, likewise. I'm Ari Resnick for CBC Kids News.